Hey everybody, Nintendo just had a banger of a Direct to kick off the new year right, giving us about 40 minutes worth of announcements for releases in the first half of the year. Let's recap all the announcements from the Direct and what I'm excited for. And if this is your first time here, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, let's get to the games. Okay, so they kicked off with a Pikmin 4 trailer and a release date of July the 21st. And this is a proper Switch Pikmin game and not a port like Pikmin 3 Deluxe was. The game itself looks great, it looks polished, it looks ready to go. Following that, we've got Xenoblade Chronicles 3 DLC Volume 3 with uh, release date of February the 15th with Volume 4 releasing sometime later in the future. Next we have Samba de Amigo Party Central which is releasing sometime in summer 2023. So there's no concrete release date and it's a rhythm game it's going to take advantage of the joy-con motion technology so that's a good addition to the nintendo switch lineup fashion dreamer is a game that's probably going to be popular around the world not necessarily here in north america or in the western world but it it is a switch exclusive it's coming out sometime in 2023 it'll sell pretty well it's from the developers and publishers of Story of Seasons, and I play a lot of Story of Seasons, so I am actually might give this a try. Dead Cells Return to Castlevania DLC is releasing March the 6th. You'll be able to partner up with Richter with Alucard. You'll be able to enjoy the soundtrack from many of the Castlevania series. Dead Cells is a great game. I love Dead Cells, so I am actually looking forward to picking up this DLC when it launches. Then we have Tron Identity, which is a puzzle adventure game. It's getting an April release. We've got Ghost Trick Phantom Detective being released sometime in the summer of 2023. Deca Police is developed by Level 5. It's going to be released sometime in 2023. It's a detective RPG and it has a very similar art style to Astral Chain. Bayonetta Origins, Ceresa and the Lost Demon released in March the 17th. They're just showing off a little bit more of the game itself. It's got a different art style than the mainline games. We have Splatoon 3 Expansion Pass DLC. Spring 2023 is going to bring Wave 1, which is Inkopolis. And Side Order, which is Wave 2, will be announced sometime in the future. We have Splatoon 3 Expansion Pass DLC. Spring 2023 is going to bring Wave 1, which is Inkopolis. And Side Order, which is Wave 2, will be announced sometime in the future. Disney Illusion Island looks very interesting as far as art style and a platformer. It's going to be releasing on July the 28th. Fire Emblem Engage has DLC out now for the expansion pass. Wave 4 is going to be sometime in the future. And in June of 2023, Harmony, The Fall of Reverie is going to be released. Uh, developed by Don't Nod, the makers of Life is Strange, and a little game called Remember Me. Octopath Traveler 2, we got another trailer. We had a demo that was shadow dropped, released on February the 24th. We Love Katamari Reroll and Royal Reverie, releasing on June the 2nd. And there's a free game trial from the 20th to the 26th of February for Active Switch Online members. Turn based RPG, Sea of Stars, the demo is in the eShop. It's going to be released on August the 29th. Omega Strikers is an air hockey style game. It's a free-to-play game. It's going to be released on April 27th. Etrian Odyssey Origins Collection is going to be released on June the 1st. It's just a remake of the original collection. The games can be purchased separately or as a bundle in the eShop. Advanced Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp finally has a release date of April the 21st. For all you Advanced Wars fans out there, Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe Magalore Epilogue. February 24th, just in case you did not know. Okay, so by this point, the Direct is going okay. I think it's fine. There are a couple gems in there. And then Nintendo decided to drop this on us. Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games are out now for Switch Online members. If you're a regular Switch Online members, let's talk about the Game Boy games. So Game Boy games, we have Tetris, Super Mario Land 2, Six Golden Coins, Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening DX, Gargoyle's Quest, Game & Watch Gallery 3, Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare, Metroid 2, Return of Samus, Wario Land 3, and Kirby's Dream Land. You're going to be able to play these games in the original green and black, and the Game Boy Pocket, or even the Game Boy Color filters. There's going to be more games added in the future. 
as you can see you can see oracle of ages oracle of seasons you see the pokemon trading card game in there so then nintendo says hey we're not done here's some game boy advance games okay so game boy advance games we're getting super mario advance 4 super mario brothers 3 warrior wear inc mega micro games kuru 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 Rin, mario kart super circuit mario and luigi superstar saga and the legend of zelda diminished cap and then more games will be added in the future as you can see we have metroid fusion which is one of my favorite games of all time we have the original fire emblem we have golden sun in there so now we're at the point where we're like all right cool now we actually got some good news is there anything else yes they decided to drop on us metroid prime remastered now it's not metroid prime 4 but i had a feeling that we weren't going to see metroid prime 4 and we might see that game next year but Metro Prime Remaster is good for right now. Now the game itself looks amazing. It is actually more of a remake than it is a remaster. So I'm not really sure why they called it a remaster. But this game is out now in the eShop. It's getting a physical release on February the 22nd. Now I have never played any of the Prime games before because I'm more of a 2D Metroid player. But you let me know in the comments below if you want to see some gameplay. Of metroid prime remaster or if you want me to do a live stream of the game I i'll be glad to do it and back to the direct we have master detective archives rain code releasing june the 30th it's not a game i'm gonna play but at least it's there bot and kaidos one and two remaster summer of 2023 for all you bot and kaidos fans out there fantasy life the girl who steals time sometime in 2023 I'm actually a fan of the Fantasy Life series. I played it on 3DS. I wish I knew exactly which date it was launching, but at least I know that it is coming to the Switch, and I'm looking forward to playing that game myself. Professor Layton is coming to the Switch, a uh, new game developed by Level 5, no release date given for all you Professor Layton fans out there. There's Wave 4 of Mario Kart 8 expansion DLC coming out in spring of 2023. Nintendo is going to milk that franchise dry until there's nothing left before we get a new Mario Kart. At this point, we get a nice little montage with Minecraft Legends, Blanc, Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection, which I'm a fan of the Mega Man Legacy Collections. Have a Nice Death, uh, E-Baseball, Disney Dreamlight Valley, and Tales of Symphonia Remastered. And finally, Nintendo decides to show us just a little bit more of Tears of the Kingdom. We know it's launching May 12th with this much time left in the Direct. It's just a given that we're going to get a separate Direct probably a month before the game launches to show us way more uh, than, than we've been asking for them to show us for a long time. Um, the game looks really good. Uh, it, look, it looks just like Breath of the Wild except more polished. That voice in, in the uh, trailer makes it sound like is somebody familiar or maybe it's somebody new we don't know um, like I said it's not much to go on they're very very good at keeping everything very secretive but they are very good at dropping a lot of hints in their trailers there are plenty of youtubers out there that are very good at analyzing these trailers I would recommend that you check them out and of course we've got the you know Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Collector's Edition being announced along with an Amiibo and that $70 price tag. So that was it for the Nintendo Direct. Overall, I thought it was good. I got some of my hopes and dreams answered. I had a lot of questions come up now as far as are we getting a Metroid Prime 4 this year or next year? Or what about Metroid Prime 2 and 3 Remastered? Are we going to get those? Or 3D Mario successor to Odyssey? I'm not sure. Only thing we could do is wait. Guys, let me know in the comments below what you think was the best part of the Nintendo Direct. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.